Hey guys, Miss Michelle here with a recyclable project for this week. We are going to use empty toilet paper rolls and convert them into starter pots for some seeds. So I have four toilet paper rolls. I have four different varieties of seeds. I have stakes so that we can identify what flower is which. And I also have some potting soil. So let's get started first with creating our flower pots. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do first with these toilet paper rolls is you're going to cut them in half. I like to make a small cut and then cut around if possible. And what's great about this too is now I have two pieces to make into pots. So I'm gonna cut two of these in half since I have four different varieties of flowers. Um, I purchased the soil and the flower seeds at the Dollar Tree. So again, another inexpensive project that you can do with your children. And I figured it's a great project to do as well because Earth Day is tomorrow. So what better way to celebrate Earth Day than to do a little bit of recycling and reusing. All right, guys, so the next step is going to be cutting half inch cuts all the way around. So you're gonna do four. All right, so here's four. So the first thing you're gonna do is fold one of the pieces down and you're going to continue to go clockwise with this until you get to the last one. And the last one, you're gonna wanna poke down underneath the first of the cuts. All right, like so. And then to help flatten it out, you're just gonna push it down here. Get that a little bit more. So I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit to make sure that it's going to stay. Um, there we go. So there's one and let's do a couple more to get ready. All right guys, so as you can see, I have our little seed pots all folded up and ready for some soil. I am going to start by planting some zinnias. And I'm gonna just cut this open so that I am able to easily, oh, these are a larger seed, which is actually great because they are easier to see. So therefore they will be easier to plant. So I'm just gonna use a plastic spoon to get to my soil. I'm going to apply a little bit of soil in there. And with this particular seed, they need to be about an inch apart. So I'm going to place one in now and cover it up with a bit of soil before I put another seed inside. All right, so let's get these seeds planted. As you see, guys, I have all of my plants potted and ready. So now I'm going to take a pen and make our cute little signs to place in the pot to tell us what type of flower we are trying to grow. So we have the zinnia. And I'm just gonna make one for kind of each area. We have the Shasta Daisy. And place that in one. And then we have the Marigolds. Okay. 
All right. So now I think all our little pot seedlings are missing is just a tiny bit of water. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna give them each a tiny drink to start off with. It's a little bit rainy today, so they're not gonna be able to get the sunlight um, that they need today, but I'm gonna kind of leave them over here just to relax a little bit and get some form of light for today. If my sign will cooperate, maybe I should put the sign in this one. It looks like it might stay up better in that one. All right. Here you go, little plants, have a drink. And the great thing about these toilet paper roll starter seedling containers, guys, is that once your flowers start to bloom and grow, if you plan to plant them out in your yard, you can plant them in these pots already because they are biodegradable. So they will slowly break down and they will actually not harm the environment, which is great. We'll check back on these in a week or so and we'll see how we're growing. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.